Welcome to my second related rates tutorial. In this problem, we're standing on the ground and a plane is uh, flying overhead of us. So we have a plane up here somewhere. And we are told that the plane is 5,000 feet above the air. and it's flying horizontally and we're told that it's flying at 1000 feet per minute so if we call this distance x we're being told that dx dt is 1000 feet per minute and what we're interested in is the distance from us to the plane and in particular what we're interested in is how fast that rate is changing so we're interested in finding dy dt under certain conditions here what dy dt is after five minutes and what dy dt is after 12 minutes we have a right triangle here so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to relate y and x so our formula to relate the variables is going to be y squared equals 5,000 squared plus x squared. Now we're interested in rates of change, so we're going to take the derivative of that, so we get 2y dy dt equals the derivative of 5,000 squared is a constant, that's 0, and then we have 2x dx dt. Since we're going to be interested in calculating dy dt, let's solve for dy dt. So we will be dividing by 2y, and when we simplify that, we're going to get x over y times dx dt. Uh, after 5 minutes, so at 5 minutes, x is going to be 5,000 feet because we're flying 5,000 feet per minute. So x is going to be 5,000. And we have to determine y. So to find y, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So y is going to be the square root of 5,000 squared, our altitude, plus our horizontal distance. And that comes out to be uh, 7,071 feet, approximately. So if we come over here to get our rate, dy dt is going to equal x with distance, which is 5,000, divided by our y distance, 7071, and that's going to be times 1,000 feet, and that comes out to be 707 approximately feet per minute. If we look at it later, at 12 minutes, so at 12 minutes, our x distance is now 12,000 feet. And our y distance, we will use the Pythagorean theorem again. 5,000 squared plus 12,000 squared. And that's going to give us 13,000 feet. So our second rate at 12 minutes is going to be uh, 12,000 feet for x, 13,000 feet for y, and we're still traveling 1,000 feet per minute, and that gives us 923, whoops, 923 feet per minute. So as the time uh, increases, our rate of change of how fast the airplane is uh, moving away from us is increasing. Uh, it would be approaching about 1,000 uh, feet per minute as, it, as time goes uh, towards infinity. Uh, I hope this helps.